Welcome to another session on viral respiratory tract infections and we'll be discussing coronaviruses in this session. So coronaviruses, these are enveloped, so indicating of the fact that they would be sensitive to lipid solvents. They have club-shaped or petal-shaped projections on their surfaces. So why are they called as coronaviruses? Is because those peplomers give the appearance of a solar corona. If you can appreciate that corona type image on uh, corona type appearance on the in the image shown. So those club shaped or petal shaped projections or peplomers give it a corona like appearance. They have a positive single stranded RNA genome, and amongst all RNA viruses, there they have the largest genome, 27 to 32 kilo base pairs in size. 100 to 160 nanometers the size of the virus they have a helical symmetry and they can infect several animals amongst the six genera coronaviruses contain alpha beta gamma delta baffini and toro viruses human coronaviruses belong to alpha and beta coronavirus genus 229e and nl63 belongs to alpha and sars mers and oc43 and hku1 belong to the beta corona viruses. Coronaviruses, their genome encodes four structural protein, the nucleocapsid protein which encloses the nucleic acid, the membrane glycoprotein which is embedded in the lipid bilayer, the spike glycoprotein or the S1 which will, uh, makes the petal shaped peplomers and a small envelope protein. So here is a view of coronaviruses. The brown, the red protein envelops the nucleic acid. This is called as the nucleocapsid protein. The spike that is the pep, making the petal-shaped peplomers and the glycoprotein passing through the envelope. Cultivation of coronaviruses is very difficult. In fact, they grow only on organ culture that is derived from tr tracheal rings. So they grow on human tracheal ring organ cultures. And exceptions to this cultivation is SARS and MERS. They can be easily grown on vero cell lines. Human coronaviruses com cause common colds. 10 to 35 percent of common colds are due to human coronaviruses, depending upon the season. And increased prevalence of human coronaviruses is seen in late fall and winter and early spring. They are transmitted via aerosols, infect the ciliated epithelial cells of the nasopharynx, damage these cells and lead to symptoms of common cold due to the inflammatory response that develops against them. Incubation period of coronaviruses is three days and they have a shorter course, six to seven days. Some studies have shown that they are associated with the nasal discharge more than rhinoviruses. Sometimes they can cause pneumonias and exacerbations of COPD in adults. Lab diagnosis of human coronaviruses generally is not required. RT-PCR can be used, ELISA for serology or indirect fluorescent antibody testing for serology culture is difficult. Coming to special coronaviruses, SARS and MERS. SARS coronavirus was first described in an outbreak in southern China in 2002 to 2003. This SARS virus spread to cause more than 9,000 cases spread over several countries in the world, uh, in Asia, North America, and South America, and Europe. And, but more than 90% of these cases were as far, uh, reported from China and Hong Kong. There were at least almost 800 mortalities in, these, in this outbreak in 2002 to 2003. Reservoir for the SARS coronavirus is fruit bats, and they are likely spread from palm civets, contacts with humans in animal markets. There is also evidence of human to human transmission. This outbreak ceased in July 2003 and in 2004, just 17 more cases were reported. And since then, for the last several years, there has no case of SARS been reported from the world. It is transmitted via airborne droplets and one study, one outbreak in Hong Kong from an apartment complex suggested that fecal oral transmission could also be one of the routes, but it is still being investigated. SARS infects the respiratory tract epithelium leading to viremia, viriuria. It is also present in the patient's stool. The virus persists in the respiratory tract for two to three weeks. Incubation period of SARS is two to seven days. Malaise, fever, headache, myalgias initially, followed by a non-productive cough, dyspnea. These appear one to two days later. 25% of in patients 
present also with diarrhea. X-ray chest shows patchy or inter patchy infiltrates which may be peripheral, lower or concentrated in the lower lung fields or they may be interstitial infiltrates initially and progressive to involve the whole so lung fields leading to diffuse infiltration. Some individuals who have certain risk factors develop more severe disease so they are at risk, fact, risk of developing acute respiratory distress syndrome or and respiratory distress syndrome or with multi-organ failure. These risk factors are age over 50, diabetics, COPD patients, CVS disease, hepatitis and pregnancy. Such individuals would obviously develop multi-organ failure and lead to death. So case fatality rates of SARS is about 9% and it has been observed that children develop less severe disease. Lab diagnosis of SARS Lymphopenia is seen in about 50%, thrombocytopenia, raised LDH, creatinine kinase, SGOT and SGPT and RT-PCR of the respiratory tract specimens as well as of plasma is done very sensitive early in the disease. We will detect them in plasma and respiratory tract. We can also detect this uh, do RT-PCR in urine and stool later. We can culture it on vero cell lines. ELISA and indirect fluorescent antibody testing can be used to detect antibodies which appear after one month. No specific therapy is known. Supportive care is done. Ribofirin has least effectivity. Vaccine is under development. Another important member of coronaviruses is MERS, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus. Since September 2012 to September 2017, WHO has reported 2,121 cases of MERS coronavirus with at least 740 deaths and it has been reported from 27 countries of the world including in America, Malaysia, Indonesia, Korea, etc. But it has not yet been reported from India. There is always a history of contact or travel to six countries of the world, Jordan, Oman, Qatar, Kuwait, UAE or Saudi Arabia in patients of MERS and approximately 82% of MERS have been reported from Saudi Arabia. But the largest outbreak that was outside Middle East occurred in the Republic of Korea which resulted in 186 cases with 38 deaths. Reservoir for MERS is bats probably spread to humans via camels. The route is exactly not clear either by ingestion of raw milk, camel milk or by ingestion of camel urine or undercooked camel meat. Human to human transmission has been shown positive. It requires close contact such as caring for or living with an infected individuals and contact with respiratory secretions. Incubation period of MERS is five days. Mild respiratory symptoms or asymptomatic cases may be, are often may be seen, but patients who are symptomatic develop cough, fever, dyspnea associated with diarrhea and vomiting. ARDS and respiratory failure develop in one week. Risk factors are absolutely same as for SARS coronavirus. Renal failure is often seen because MERS coronavirus receptors are also located in kidneys. Pericarditis has also been reported in some patients. Fatality rates range from 27 to 35%. And diagnosis, lymphopenia, neutropenia, thrombocytopenia, raised LDH. Apart from that, specific diagnosis can be done by taking serum or respiratory secretions or stool specimens. We can do PCR. We can culture it on monkey kidney cell lines or vero cell lines. And serology can be used to detect antibodies in the serum. No established antiviral therapy is there yet and vaccine is under development. So here we have a question. A pay traveler returning from Mecca presents with pneumonia, fever and cough. What is the best test to diagnose MERS coronavirus? So best test would be MERS coronavirus PCR. Following are common characteristics of coronaviruses except they contain the largest genome of RNA viruses, they are distributed worldwide, have cross-reactive antigens with influenza, have a helical symmetry. Out of these, the only one which is wrong is C. They do not have cross-reactive antigens with influenza. They belong to corona, whereas influenza belongs to orthomyxoviruses. False about MERS, it is a coronavirus, correct? The symptoms of MERS appear within a day or two. That is not so. It's a longer incubation period. 
Fever is the most common symptom observed in MERS. Yes, that is true. That's the most common symptom. MERS usually affects individuals who have a pre-existing illness like diabetics and heart disease. That is also true. So the only one which is correct is the wrong incubation period. It is not one to do this. Thank you.